Comes around me, 12s into 10s, 12 to 1 bigger than the last pair. 9 to 2 then, McDelta as Ferdy, 13 to 2 into 6 to 1. Yeah, let's take a look at these in the paddock, starting off with number two, El Al, who has course-winning form. Yeah, previous course winner, also been placed at the track. Back in trip, having finished six last time out at Hamilton, and only a pound higher than his last win, which was, in, uh, which was last month, already three times winner this year. Call Out Loud represents uh, Michael Appleby, Andrew Mullen on board. Yeah, suited by cutting the ground. Both wins have been on uh, one, one win on heavy ground, one win on good to soft. Finished six last time out at Salisbury. That was over seven. He's back up in trip. Yeah, Mrs Biggs has run well the last twice over sprint distances, up to a mile today. Yeah, only won one from 18 starts. That was over six furlongs as a two-year-old. Third last time, again over six furlongs, up in trip. Got to prove his stamina. Yeah, Ger O'Neill claiming seven, taking the ride for his boss, Sir Declan Carroll. Uh, number five is Cabal, uh, trained by Jeff Harker. Second at Newcastle last time. Nine-year-old mare, she had a good season last year. She won on four occasions. Not from five so far in 2016, but best run, as you say, finishing uh, second at Newcastle on a later start. Yeah, Lothair represents the Alan Swinbank yard and is a previous course winner. Yeah, like El Al, he's one from four at the trap plus a place. Only 14th last time out, but the saddle slips, you forgive that performance, but prior to that had been well held back end of last season at Red Car. Yeah, Talent Scout has good uh, course winning form and represents the Tutties, Karen and Gemma. Three times course win, uh, plus two places. Hasn't won since the summer of 2014 as a result, he's £12 load in his last win. Yeah, number eight is arms around me. An appropriate one for James Gibbon, given that he got married on Saturday. Uh, Tom Eves takes the ride. Yeah, James is seeking a double as well. He's back in trip, his arms around me. Ran over a mile and a quarter last time out, was beaten over ten lengths. Prior to that, had finished fifth at Haydock. Yeah, Callum Shepherd will be aboard at Mac Delta, claiming the five pounds, trained by Ian Williams. Cheap pieces on for the first time, was a dual winner from 14 starts, ten pounds load in his last win, which was back in September 2013. Yeah, PJ McDonald teams up with number 12, Ferdy. Um, who was third at Red Car last time. Long losing run back to the summer of 2013, eight pounds lower. Uh, most recent start was over a mile at Red Car, finishing third behind Shamahart. Yeah, tricky little handicap once again. Some seasoned campaigners on this, but in this, should I say, El Al and uh, Talent Scout, both uh, joint favourites, both arguably front runners, Mark. Yeah, they are. They're the only two who've got down. El Al comes from stall six, Paul Mull running on his back. Paul knows him really well, has won on him on, on six occasions. And Talent Scout, yeah, he. he um, over the years, he's, he's, he's made the running on a number of occasions, and he was a creditable third last time out, but he hasn't won for the uh, best part of two years now. Yeah, Mac Delta now has come and topped and tailed the market, and his favourite at 9-2 to two ahead of El Al and um, Talent Scout. Um, does that does that surprise you? It, it does in, in the fact that, it, again, he hasn't won for a long time. He, had, he was a dual winner, but that was back in 2013. No wins since. Hasn't had a great deal of racing, in fairness to him. I think it's only 10 starts. Best run this year came on the old weather at Kempton. But his most recent start on turf, he was well held at Bath. So, yeah, it does surprise me. Ferdy's been running OK, run a, run, a, run a reasonable race last time out and previously a Haydock. Yeah, his, his three runs this year have been OK, haven't they? Um, he's a couple of thirds, a fourth in there. Well treated on all form, but you're talking nearly three years since he's got his head in foot. This is arguably his trip. He, he's run OK at the track as well. He's been placed a couple of times, but you know how keen would he be on him for, on a horse who hasn't won for so long? Yeah, Cabal is uh, the mount of Jason Hart riding for Jeff Harker. Second at Newcastle last time out, but remember, obviously, that was on the Tapita surface. Yeah, finished second behind Ribeiro, was beaten three parts of a length. Really good year last year, possibly paying for that in, in the handicap, but she's beginning to slip down. She's a nine-year-old now. She's got a decent draw as well in, in store one. She'll, she'll handle the ground. Um, and we'll see how she gets on, but good year last year, just probably suffering suffering as a result this time. Yeah, fluctuating all the time in the market, now joint favourites, Talent Scout and Mac Delta at 9-2. to two. The one they don't seem to want all of a sudden is El Al. Yeah, sli slightly surprised because he's had a really good season, he's already won three times, he's, a, he's proven at the course, gets on well with Paul Mulrennan and he has won off high ratings in the past. Yeah, just going in there is uh, Ferdy, number 12, Callum Shepherd. not Callum Shepherd. PJ McDonald on board. 
and uh, Callum Shepard, of course, on Mac Delta, one of the joint favourites. Talent Scout and El Al are among the most likeliest pace setters here. Shouldn't be any hanging about. There is old Talent Scout facing up to the stalls, and he'll arguably be the last one in. Let's uh, rejoin Tim. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, Talent Scouts representing Karen Tutty, who won this race 12 months ago. Last one then in, in is in. That's Talent Scouts. And they're off and racing. Uh, away we go. Call Out Loud was a little bit sluggish, to say the least, out of the stalls. And the Racing UK handicap over a mile. And we've got a real battle on for the lead between El Al and Talent Scout. They got out very hard through the first furlong and a half. El Al has won that battle. And in the black and pink colours under Paul Mulrennan now leads from Talent Scout, who's in second place. I think Gemma Tutti accepted that Alal was going to be in front, and these two then are clear of the others, with Lothair in third place. Call Out Loud's made up some ground into fourth place. Cabal's blue headgear hugs the rail in fifth place. Then towards the outside is Mrs. Biggs in blue with the yellow cross belts. Ferdy's towards the back of the field, so his arms around me looking for a first win. And last of all is McDelta and Callum Shepherd heading towards the final half mile. Alal leading by three or four lengths. Moving on from in second place, Talent Scouts. Lothair's on the rail in third place with Call Out Loud just being pushed along, nudging into a third place now. Cabal's getting a good run through, had the good gallop to be aimed at as well in fifth place as they begin to climb uphill. Ferdy just being pushed along to try and improve. Also to the right, we have Mrs. Biggs under pressure, his arms around me. A lot of ground to make up for McDelta. Final two furlongs. Allow in the lead, but not by a great deal now. Call Out Loud has suddenly moved to the front as Allow quickly gives way. That very hard early pace taking its toll. Off there is there. Ferdy's travelled pretty well. Mrs. Biggs is also coming into it as they head down towards the final furlong then. Ferdy, McDelta's coming around runners as they race well inside the final furlong. McDelta challenging for the lead. He's got Ferdy down the centre of the track but it's McDelta who leads up towards the line. McDelta under Callum Shepherd takes it from the back of the field. Ferdy was second, running on late with arms around me. Mrs. Biggs and Loth there and call out loud. Earlier on we saw um, good performances from Adam McNamara in the saddle, a promising apprentice. Here's another. Callum Shepherd shines on McDelta, produces him late to win for Ian Williams. And uh, the sort of race, Mark, it was changing every second from about a furlong and a bit down. It was, and that was probably largely due to the really strong tempo set by El Al and, and um, Talent Scout. They've clearly gone too far too hard and they've paid the penalty later on. But, yeah, any number of horses seem to get to the front. Ferdy's got to the front. And for a split second, you thought he might just end that long losing run. But McDelta fitted with cheap pieces for the first time had a bit of a break he's back in the winner's enclosure for the best part of nearly uh, about two and a half to nearly three years yeah without a doubt and and you'll see that uh, call out loud as the horse who made a tardy start just don't know whether the blind was a little bit um, late there coming off but then he recovers and uh, chases up behind the leaders I mean he comes there Mark to show in front briefly as we'll see in a few moments but he, he seems to hang fire a little bit then. I don't think he's the easiest in the world. No, I, I, don't, I don't think he is. And, you know, he's another horse on a, on a long losing run. But McDelta clearly wasn't unfancied in the market. He'd run OK on the old weather early in the season at Kempton, but he'd been well held on the turf at Bath. Cheap pieces that clearly aren't a hindrance to him. Enjoys a bit of cutting the ground. I suppose he's, he's relatively low mileage on the turf. He's only had the eight tries, two wins. So, And he's £10 lower than his last win. And 